we take just a moment to remember those who were murdered by an unjust society, a society whose systems and institutions created the desire inside of them to no longer be with us. For those who took the greatest weapon, a weapon of themselves, to commit suicide. In this community, we have lost many. A few of those names are Carol Ann Byers, Karina Page, Cat Williams, and Marky Slagle. I'd like to introduce Independence and Rose, who are going to speak of youth suicide. Uh, hey, my name is Independence Taylor. I'm an agender trans youth here in Sacramento. I use he, they pronouns, and I've attempted suicide. I have tried to kill myself four years ago in my freshman year of high school and struggle with suicidal thinking every single day still. Most trans youth have thought about, attempted, or know someone who has attempted or committed suicide. 41% of trans folks have attempted suicide at least once in their life, compared to just 4.6% of the general population. Trans youth suicides are murder. Our deaths are murder. They are no fault to our own. They are the result of our transphobic society in which us trans youth are told our lives are only worth living if we are cis, hyper-binary, and pass passable. It is a society that we live in and that we reinforce that tells trans kids our autonomy is reduced to our livelihood. Literally, our being alive is the only cash we can check when harassment, gatekeeping, institutionalization, violence, and the constant threat of premature death makes trans youth mobility an impossibility. We are told through media and community responses that our suicides will speak louder than any words we can speak, louder than any organizing we can do. Trans youth most often lack family and community support and access to resources that help us cope with mental health issues. Daily microaggressions and transphobia, even if only witnessed third hand, really cut away at our self-worth and belief that we have a right to live and exist as much as cis youth. Um, Mainstream white cis gay culture is also aiding in our assisted murders by repeatedly erasing us, ignoring the epidemic of trans youth death and homelessness, and furthering stigma around gender, biology, and race. Our suicides are the only microphone we're given. It's no wonder they are so frequent. When only in our deaths, the conditions we are forced to survive can be addressed. Our society expects us to live without allowing us the means to a life. Many of you have not heard the whispers around town yet, but three weeks ago, a trans girl in Elk Grove killed herself. Her name was Ruby Texler. She was 17 years old, a junior in a consumed high school, and she enjoyed cosplay. There was no media coverage of her suicide, her obituary, and acting violence against her in death by deadnaming her and misgendering her. Comments on her Facebook pages and obituary page online denying her name and pronouns as if they never existed. She was out at school and all the emails exchanged to staff about her death used her name Ruby and she her pronouns. Ruby's treatment from former classmates and teachers in death stands as an example of the treatment so many trans folks receive. Our true selves are raised, damaged for the convenience of those around us. Uh, now me and Rose are going to read the names of those we have lost to our community this year. Leela Alcorn, 17 years old, she, her, hers. A. Lula Kansen, 23 years old, she, her, hers. Melanie Rose, 19 years old, she, her, hers. Xander Mahaffey, 15 years old, he, him, his. Aubrey Marie Koshine, 22 years old, she, her, hers. Ash Hafner, 16 years old, he, him, his. Sage David, 17 years old, he, him, his. Taylor Wells, 18 years old. Blake Brockington, 18 years old, he, him, his. Ezra Page, 15 years old, he, him, his. Taylor Alisana, 16 years old, she, her, hers. Sam Taub, 15 years old, he, him, his. Rachel Brick, 23 years old, she, her, hers. Cameron Langrell, 15 years old, she, her, hers. Kyler Prescott, 14 years old, he, him, his. Jess Ships, she, her, hers, 31 years old. Sam Ely, the, them, theirs, 21 years old. Riley Korshne, 29 years old, she, her, hers. Skylar Marcus Lee, 16 years old. He, him, his, they, them, theirs. Emmett Castle, 14 years old, he, him, his. Ashley Hallstrom, 26 years old, she, her, hers. Andy Woodhouse, he, him, his, 24 years old. Jay Rocco, he, him, his, 22 years old. Ruby Texler, she, her, hers, 17 years old. 
Here's also to the many unknowns and underreported suicides, most of them youth of color who lack the same online support as their white peers in reporting the suicide. Only in death are our names and tears acknowledged by the masses. You know, it hasn't been our practice over the years to do much applause in this space, but we did it earlier for speakers. I'd like you to do it now for these young people. Thank you. 